Hi everyone, it's your girl once again, Sonya, all things football from a lady's perspective. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. This is going to be my week six and seven consolidated review. Thank you to all of you all who have inbox well wishes to my family as we memorialized my aunt. So I'd like to dedicate this show to her, Carol Walker. All right, week six did not disappoint, but there was quite a few shocking things. For one, both of our undefeated teams, the Eagles and the 49ers, both now have losses, with the 49ers having lost to who? The Browns. Now, that team and the Eagles, as I said, were both the last undefeated teams, and both of them were on the road, which lets us know that sometimes that home field advantage is paramount in securing a win. Now, the Jets, of all people, minus Aaron Rodgers, you guys, because he's still out nursing that Achilles injury. Now, I want to let you guys know he's been spotted a few times without those crutches, but still with a limp, but he is determined to come back before the season is over. But Zach and company getting it done against the Philadelphia Eagles. What a shocker. Also, the 49ers in that victory over the Browns, that 49ers defense definitely cannot be stopped. CMC and Debo Samuels both went down. However, CMC did play in week seven. Debo Samuels is still out. Um, Cleveland definitely had a great defense in that win, securing that over the San Francisco 49ers. Now, most of the one in four teams that I talked about from the week five recap have now won a second game. And the Panthers still have not. Now, the Panthers did look like we were formidable against the Dolphins. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened, y'all. The defense definitely kept us in the game. Bryce looked more balanced, more serene, more on point, and ready to quarterback for the Panthers. But we just could not pull it out. And after the half, everything crumbled. We're 0-7. and seven. Moving along. <laughs> Week seven recaps right now. We're going to start talking about those real quick. Julio Jones is now signed with the Philadelphia Eagles, ever the ring chaser. Julio Jones, former Atlanta Falcon, former Tampa Bay Buck, now Philadelphia Eagle, trying to get a ring with Jalen and company. Julio suited up in week seven for the first time as a Philadelphia Eagle. Congrats to him and good luck with securing the win. Now, 49ers once again, Brock Purdy is in concussion protocol with a questionable play for this Sunday's matchup that he has. He actually caught that injury in the Monday night football where they dropped another loss to Kirk Cousins and company. The Vikings, you like that? I guess he did. Vikings getting it done and um, Vikings fans all over the place are really hyped up about that purple rain. Y'all know that the Vikings caught their first win against us and looks like they're turning their season around one more game and they will be at 500. So congrats to Kirk and company. Um, the Eagles definitely dominated the Dolphins. So they definitely have redeemed themselves. And thanks for that Eagles. Cause you know, once the Dolphins put that Molly Whopping on my Panthers, we were done at that point. Seattle versus Arizona. I want to talk about a couple of teams I never really mentioned that much because the hype is around surrounding so many other teams, including the NFC South, where Atlanta just secured first place of the South. Now, uh, B. John Robinson did not play. Everybody thought he was going to play, did not report on the IR, did not replay on the, you know, pup list, any of that. And just destroyed my fantasy. And I bet some of you guys too. He came in apparently with a headache, but played later in the game, just a couple of downs, if that. And uh, the league is looking into that as to why he not feeling well was not already, you know, announced to everyone, not readily available. So um, hopefully, he, hopefully he's feeling better and that he will be playing in the next matchup where they take on Tennessee Titans, Derek Henry and company in Nashville on Sunday. The key to remember about that is Arthur Smith is going back to Mike Frabel, where he served as the offensive coordinator with King Henry. And um, you guys, Tannehill is out this time. So um, looks like Will Levitz will be starting for that. It's going to be interesting to see this is his first time going back to Nashville since leaving there. And this time as the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. That game is at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, uh, I have to plug this in real quick, you guys. Seattle... 
and Arizona. Kenny Walker the third, 26 carries, 105 yards. Kyler Murray is still out. And uh, Josh Dobbs looks like he's just barely getting it done. They are anemic down there, you guys. 19 passes out of 33 attempts for 146 yards. One and six Arizona. Not sure what's going to go down, but they're dangling in there. But hey, they got one more win than the Panthers. So who am I to speak on it? Folks thought that Arizona was going to be a little bit better than what they were, especially after they beat Dallas. Everyone seems to step it up when they play Dallas, y'all, um, for some reason. But that was the only win that they got for this season. Now, Anthony Richardson, let's move along real quick. Another rookie. Anthony Richardson is out indefinitely, you guys. A second injury in almost as many as maybe three, four, five weeks. He's played. He's out for the Colts. Um... Let me plug real quick, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. The Swift effect is real. Have you guys noticed the influx of commercials of both of them now? Well, Taylor came out on some pictures today that she was actually wearing a Travis Kelsey customized number 87 bracelet when she cheered him on in the booth on Sunday. And you guys know Taylor is a devout Eagles fan, but she had on that Kansas City shirt, T-shirt, probably one of Travis's with Mama Kelsey up there Sunday, cheering on her boo, Travis. So um, that's a nice little cute romance to follow along with. All righty. Um, let's see if I got anything else for you guys before I wrap it up. The Commanders lost to the Giants in a big fashion. Um, the offense looked horrible. I, I don't know. Seven carries for 31 yards. Washington, what is going on? Chris Rodriguez, he was the only one that had those carries. In an NFC East matchup, Giants got it done, and now they have another win on their belt. That's all I got for you guys right now. Please keep up with these fantasy rankings. They change every single day. Don't get caught slipping like I did with Bijan not playing. However, no one knew about that. Um, big scorers this year, as all, excuse me, this week as always, Patrick Mahomes, um, Kenny Walker III, the usual suspects, CMC just got his 16 consecutive touchdown for as many games, 16 games, 16 touchdowns. Congrats to him. He's a baller. Whoever's got him on their fantasy is racking up those points. Follow NFL, ESPN News, and follow my channel. I will be back next Wednesday, same time, same station, and share, share, share. Have a great one. As always, good luck to your team, and go Panthers.